Warren Township, innovate, educate, and inspire. Today's video training lesson is going to be how to use your Indianapolis Public Library card to sign in and to access the e-collections to search for an e-book or for an audiobook. First thing you need to do is get to the website to be able to log in. You can type this in into your browser. The URL is ecollection.ndpl.org. However, if you forget what that is, or if you don't have access to that, you can go to the Warren Township homepage, both at the district level and at the school level. If you scroll down, about halfway down, on the right-hand side, you'll see a section called Popular Links. It will say eCollection Indianapolis Public Library Card. If you click on that, it will open a new page and come to this section. From here, you want to sign in. So if you click on sign in, it will give you an option to sign in with your library card. All library cards start with 21978 and then there's a string of numbers. The last four digits of your library card is the PIN. Then if you have a Chromebook or other device that you use that you use consistently or constantly, I would suggest making sure that that remember my card is checked so that you don't have to um, constantly sign in with the long card number. Then click sign in. After you've signed in, you'll notice that it changes over here to my account instead of the words sign in. And from here, it does default to the kids section, but you can very easily switch over to the teen section by just clicking the down arrow for collections and clicking on teens. If you'll notice, the section looks a very similar to the kids section. Um, so it functions the exact same way. Um, these are just higher level books. So you can switch either from the kids or the teen section. Now, from here, let's look at searching. So you've logged in, um, you pick your collection that you'd like. From here, if you have a specific research topic or a specific book that you're looking for, you can simply search for it. You can also click the advanced search button and that narrows it down even more. So that's when you're looking for something very specific. Now, if you're just browsing for a book, they have these handy little things. If you've ever used Netflix before, it's very similar where it has the right arrow key that you can scroll across. And so you can see they have up here new stuff. So things that have just been added, national award winners, trending now, Indiana interest, which is kind of neat. Your next great read, so popular books right now. The Young Hoosier Book Award nominees, which is awesome. Character Corner, seasonal titles. And uh, since Wimpy Kid is so popular, Wimpy Kid read the likes. So you can look at these and find, um, like if you look down here, you can see that this one right here is an audiobook because it has a headset. Um, and this one is an ebook uh, since it has the, the book. So from here, you can just browse. You can also browse uh, by the subjects. So let's just say you want to narrow it into something a little bit more. You're still just browsing, but you want to find a particular format. So you want an ebook. Now they have an option for video, but at the district level, they block most of the videos because of bandwidth. Video takes up a lot of internet speed. It slows it down. So they block a lot of the video, but you can get access to that at home if you'd like. Um, so let's say I'm looking for an audio or an ebook. So I want to read it. And so then I have all these options that I can choose from. So if you look through all of it, you can find something on um, fiction. So I have 11,000 titles that I can look at and see if it's available. It will tell me at the top whether it's available or not. Um, so that allows me to choose things that might be of interest. So let's say that I want to um, look at this red wall book. If I click on it, it will allow me to read what it's about. And I can even read a sample of that. And then if I choose, I can borrow it from there. So that's how you get on, you log in and you do some searching. In our next video tutorial, we will show you how to actually borrow the book, open it up, read it and return it.